Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Bob Connor here, once again with another video. Today we're going to be looking at a retro vintage classic item or toy, so to speak, uh, from about, uh, I think it's come out in 96 or something like that, I think it was. Uh, well, it, was, it was quite late after the, uh, oh yeah, I think it was 96, uh, so, yeah. uh, so it was quite some time after the uh, Predator film, which I think was about 87, I think it was, uh, so it was quite some time after they actually made this, uh, surprising it took so long to actually do that, to just be honest, you, know, you thought they would have made it, you know, not long after, but I don't know, maybe it took them a while to get the license and not produce and I don't really know, to be honest, because it's, you know, took quite a while, I uh, guess, but, you know, obviously, uh, made by Micro Machines, um, the original Micro Machines scale miniatures, and uh, I did uh, uh, three different collections of the Predator movie. And as I said, yeah, I don't know why they um, decided to do it, so, you know, years later after the movie came out. As I said, whether it's to do with having the rights or whether the Micro Machines just wasn't capable of making it then. I don't, not too sure anyway. Um, and I don't even know if there was any old original uh, Predator toys to be honest I mean I was in 87 I was about three years old I think uh, in 87 um, and then about 96 I was about 11 or 12 um, when they made this and I never actually Funnily enough, I, I, got a, I had a lot of toys uh, growing up in the 80s and 90s, but I never actually had this. Uh, I never got around to this. I don't know why I never got this to be honest, because I did like the movie. Uh, I see it when I was younger. Um, but I don't know why I didn't get this. Uh, you know, I probably would have done. Maybe it's just because, you know, when you was a kid, you just didn't have uh, cash, you know, or, you know, you'd only get gifted uh, cash or someone would buy something you know you wouldn't have uh, your own money to get stuff you know so maybe it's just a case of you know there just wasn't you know just didn't have enough money to buy all the toys but anyway um, I, I had other micro machines and stuff and different stuff but you know this I missed um, regretted you know should have got it but you know <sighs> could say regretted but you know Back then there was so many toys growing up and it was just hard to, so you know. Um, and I also miss the, because they do the Predator, three different sets. Um, you know, first one's got uh, Visible Predator, Stealth, uh, Helicopter, Dutch, Gorilla Troop Chuck and Blaine. Set 2, it's got Predator, Mast version, then the, the Gamo or Camo, uh, Gorilla uh, Helicopter when it gets blown up during the first battle scene. And obviously Dylan uh, and Dutch's team and uh, one of the Gorilla's uh, Jeeps and uh, Billy and then obviously this set it's got the this, this is a set because I actually I got this on eBay and as I said I didn't get it when I was younger and because I started collecting uh, you know, when I started becoming an adult collector uh, it was in 2020 um, so I've only stopped I've only been collecting again uh, for three years uh, and as, as Predator stuff that I've got, um, I saw this and actually thought I want to get that, you know, because I never had it and 
I wanted to get it for the collection because it just looked pretty cool. Uh, the only thing I was put off with uh, at the beginning was the um, price because it's quite it's quite expensive because it's a vintage retro item now. It's quite they're quite expensive, um, and I managed to get this one for twenty five. So that was quite a good deal on this. It's usually a lot more expensive. I've seen some on there for. 70, 80, 90 pounds are so really expensive. I think that's why I didn't get it before because you know I was put off by the price. Um, but then when I saw this, uh, I think some of them started to become more cheaper, um, especially on like uh, auction and stuff. You can pick them up. Um, but I just managed to get this one for 25 and it was, it was the set I wanted actually because uh, it contains the Predator uh, dropship. Uh, you see obviously at the beginning, so I really wanted that. Um, Anna, which I didn't really want, but uh, included in this set. Predator on Mars, I wanted that. Um, now, Thermo, Thermographic Dutch, which is obviously the image of the Predator scenes. That's pretty cool, uh, to be honest, because that's, that's the image that the Predator sees. You know, he doesn't see a full... Um, version of Dutch, that's actually what he sees through his eyes, he's seen, that's the image that he sees when he's seen Dutch, so they did a version of that, which is pretty cool, um, I probably would have uh, had that, uh, and then the gorilla truck, wasn't too bothered about that, but in this set, it's, um, as I said, I wanted those two mainly, the Predator and uh, the Predator dropship for the collection, and I was actually going to buy them individually because you can get these individually as well as in sets. And I was going to get those individually, but it's actually more expensive to buy them individually as it adds up. So, you know, if I'd have bought them individually, it would have cost about the same price as I paid for this full set, so about 25. So I thought I might as well just get the whole set and just have, you know, the whole set. Um, and, you know, as I said, it was a set or, you know, ones that I wanted to get. Um, however, I do I actually thought about getting the other two sets, uh, which I might do uh, at some stage. But so, yeah, I was going to get the, and I was put off by the price, and then I saw it for 25 and I thought I'd get it. And yeah, and it just worked out better to get the set for uh, 25 rather than individually. And yeah, and as I said, I think these these sets, um, I've got, I quite like the Terminator sets as well. Um, as I said, three sets that you get, and it's it's quite good to be honest, because you get five, you get three figures and two vehicles, which is pretty good, and I think is is better worth while because you get more for the thing. And I think the other set that I do is the Alien. Uh, franchise uh, they do three sets on that as well um, but you only get four uh, things in those you get two characters an alien and a human and then you get two uh, vehicles and to be honest they're not I don't think they're the great sets to be honest I think one more thing in each set would have been better I think with four it doesn't really seem much I think with five it's I don't know it just seems better just seems like a more right set, especially when you're paying the price. And I mean, especially now, all right, back in the day, if it was five, it was if it was only five six pound, right? Fair enough, it's only five six pound. But now, when you're paying from, you know, you know, it's it's more better. I think that you know, you're paying for uh, uh, something like this that gives you five figures rather than just you know paying thirty or twenty five pound for four figures. And to be honest, I don't really. I uh, want the Aliens uh, full sets, to be honest, um, and the reason is, uh, when I've, 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 and I collect Aliens, and I like Aliens, and I've got that in the collection, however, I'm just really uh, collecting the Aliens, uh, I, I'm not collecting uh, the Humans or the Troops, so I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not having Ripley or the Troops. Uh, or vehicles in the collection. It's just the aliens that I, I'm concentrating on and collecting. Um, so really, I didn't really see the point in not only just put off by again the price because they were expensive as well. 
Um, they're probably actually more expensive than the Predator sets, to be honest, what I've seen on eBay. But yeah, I just, I just don't want the sets. If I was collecting all aliens vehicles, then yeah, probably. But you know, if it's just four things, it doesn't seem worth my while. And also, if I'm just getting aliens, it just didn't seem worth getting the sets for just one alien in each thing. And now I've actually managed to buy the alien queen that's in set three. So I bought that. For for just five pound uh, plus a couple of pounds for the postage just for the alien queen in set three so got that um, I've actually seen that they've got the alien dog from set two uh, which I'm gonna get and so I'll just the only thing I'll need is the alien from the first set um, and then you know that's all I want from those um, and then I'm gonna look at getting the other sets uh, at some stage, well, I might, you know, that's no guarantee. Um, so it's all going to come down to price and, you know, um, you know, timing, whether I'm going to get them or not. But, you know, uh, I've got one set at least because, you know, and it's a set that I wanted, so I'm happy about that. And as I said, I was going to get this a while ago, got off, put off by the price. And then saw it again and then just thought, yeah, I'll grab it when it's that price. And then done a good deal with a seller of 25, so I thought that was worth it uh, for this to add to the collection. And I just wanted it, so got to for the uh, the mini figures section of the Predators. And that goes in there. Uh, the other thing is, I didn't know whether to actually take it out of the packaging or if to actually just leave it in there. And have it on display just like that. I wasn't too sure. I didn't know if to take it out and just have the Predator Dutch and Spaceship, and then I wasn't going to display Anna and the truck and just have those three together in the Predator mini section. But then I didn't know if to take them out because because they're so small, you know, it's a risk of losing them. And obviously, like uh, if I'm ever going to move house or you know. Yeah, it's just, you know, the risk involved, you know, losing small pieces, you know, it's a bit. So then I thought, you know, a bit on display just like that. But then, you know, I thought to myself, I don't know though, because I wanted to try and display the spaceship uh, with the Predator, but I don't know. Um, in one way, I'm tempted to leave it in the packaging, but one way, I'm needed to take it out and display it on. But I'm still don't know uh, to be honest I don't want to regret it and take it out and then um, but I'll, I'll, I'll be keeping the packaging anyway so maybe I'll take it out and then give the option of putting it back in but then you know I'll say I don't really want to mess it up but and then decide that I want to put it back in but I don't know um, I thought I'd just show you guys anyway obviously it's old and you've seen it before but I just thought I'd show you because it's, it's, it's a classic nice thing to look at as well I think because even if something like that you don't buy, you know, it's always nice to look at, um, I think. Um, you know, and a lot of these stuff, you know, I like sometimes just looking at stuff, even if I'm not going to buy it, or, you know, if it's too expensive. I, I say you can always look, but you can't always, you can't always have, or you can't always buy, you know, um, sometimes due to price, or just sometimes you just don't want it. Just like, I mean, I like looking at uh, old retro vintage stuff, but I don't always necessarily want them. Um, I mean, to be, to be honest, most of my collections, a lot of it is current stuff, and you'll see that. But, you know, I, I don't mind having a few retro bits and pieces in the collection, especially with Predator, Terminator, Robocop, and Alien. Um, you know, so I might get a few pieces, but it's not going to be much. Um, if I ever get the other Predators, I may do a video on it and then show you guys with them all together. Um, and I'm always going to do Predator videos and update collections of bits and pieces and adding stuff and updating stuff. So, yeah. Um, but I thought, yeah, I thought it would be a good idea to do the, even though I said it, you know, it's old, but I thought I'd do a video on it. Um, and, you know, looking at a, you know, you can see it as a video is looking at an old, Retro classic, um, you know, and as I said, it is it is a nice uh, set to, to to just look at, you know, and have on display, which is uh, 
you know, what I like to do with my collection, you know, have them on display and then just, you know, just look at the stuff, you know, and just enjoy it, you know, for that. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for lots more videos. Oh, leave thoughts and comments uh, on your opinions on this, or whether you've got this set, or whether you know it. Um, and your thoughts and opinions, and we can have a chat if you want. Um, and that's going to be pretty much that. So, guys, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye for now. See you soon.